wanted to open this box since I started watching YouTube probably back in July. It is now two days after Thanksgiving 2022, so I've been at this for, well, four, four and a half months. Do I want to cut the top of this one? Maybe not. All right, we got 92 Skybox, Team USA, 36 packs, eight card pack. I didn't do the math. A little bit of a different type of setup for a box. And I'm obligated to say, fuck it, let's open some cards because I've made that a habit. I bought a set of this. It's a 110 card set and there's one insert card. So a plastic team card. Uh, I bought the set. I don't think the uh, owner of the set knew there was a plastic team card in there. It's got a little bit of value to it. I got this set for like five bucks. Thought I could pull it apart, break it, find some Jordans to send out for grading, but uh, they were all chippy. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. different setup. Uh, how's that go? Let's get on life. Do we care if they're even? Whatever. And I'm curious about something, so what you're not going to see on camera is me putting these packs on a scale before I open them, because I want to know if that plastic card is in the pack before I start ripping into shit. I don't think bringing the scale into the situation is. I don't know, that's it goes back to the early days of pack searching. That doesn't need to be done on camera. You guys don't need to learn that shit. Message for the day. Rest in peace, Bruce. I got curious last night. Started uh, digging around on Facebook and uh, the internet. Seeing if uh, the guy I used to work for when I was a kid was still around. Turns out uh, he is not. Passed away in 2017. Well, shit. First pack. This is the card I was looking for. Now, the one that came in the set was scratched all over the place. Which is why I wanted to know if it was in the pack before I opened the pack. Be as careful as fucking possible with it. Take a quick look at it. I got no scratches. I'm not even sure if I want to wipe this down. A little bit of stuff here. It'll take a. I'll wipe it down. For now, we're sleeving that, which I don't usually do. I'll wait until I process them and sleeve them later. I guess we'll find out on the next pack if that's an extra card or it changes the weight. This is what, eight cards per pack? Is that what the, what the box said? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that counts as a card. And we got Magic on Malone. I believe this is a 110, yeah. This isn't a subset. Well, it's like a subset. Larry Bird, uh, what do we want to... We got like 10 guys in this set. We're going to pull a pile of Jordans out of here. Maybe two sets when it's all said and done. I don't think the weight is going to change based on that plastic card. Oh, here we go. What I was talking about, about that set being chippy, like the front of these cards, there's no border. So, 
corners look. Mm, this one might be a little weak. The front looks great. If these aren't pack fresh cards, this is chippy all the way around here. Like there's a small spot right there. But on cards coming straight out of the pack, I'm hoping for them not to be. Yeah, these look fucking amazing compared to the last shit I had. We will be sending a pile of these out. They go for like, uh, Jordans go for like 40 bucks, graded 10. So once I know my centering is right, I'll send them. We're gonna have to open these to paint the way. And we do have a chance for some uh, autograph cards in here. Um, according to the box, it's uh, Magic Johnson and David Robinson. And we're going to see the same guys over and over and over. Barkley Robinson. Does it give me the odds on that plastic card? It does not. I'd have to look it up. And that would take time. And I'd like to try to keep these videos short. So I was digging around on Facebook. I found... Uh, guy's name is Bruce. Um, two of his kids, one I went to high school with. Looks like they moved out of El Paso at some point and uh, I worked for them back in the early 90s. I graduated in 93, so 91, 90 is about the time I knew the guy. Couldn't find an obituary. Don't know how he died. He smoked. I can well, assume, but I don't know for sure. Well, he taught me quite a bit about this hobby. Until I worked for him, I was really just chasing top football cards, 87, 88, 89. Met him going into his shop trying to complete sets. He's the one telling me how to run the shop, how to sort cards, and I'm pretty fucking fast at that. God, these look fantastic. Jordans on top of Jordans. Larry, Scotty, those are my three guys. Out of this set, those would be my three guys. I like Barkley, but no. There's nothing in here. Barkley was. It's going to go out of this house. Scotty Pippen. I might send Valeria too. So each, uh, each member of the team had, uh, I believe, 10 cards. In this set. Uh, well, here we got a checklist. Why don't we just answer that question now? 73 to 81. I'm all in 55 to 63. So, one, two, three, four. Nine cards. I'm not going to trust my math skills. I'll just count them out. Each player's got nine cards in the set. Then you got magic on whoever. The magic subset. Magic on Jordan, Magic on Bird, Magic on... I think Magic has a Magic on Magic card. Is there a Magic on Magic? Barkley, Bird, Ewing, Magic on Magic. Imagine that. How big does your ego have to be to do that card? We've seen that one already. Magic on Jordan. I'd like to get a card, one of these, sent out. Little chippy. They call it chippy. I've heard silvering 
I've heard other words that I don't remember. Scotty Magic Larry Stockton Barkley Robinson. And I could just repeat these names over and over. Ewing. Pack for the Jordans. That look amazing. And I probably knew this way back in the day, but I forgot it. Maybe I didn't know it at all. It's hard to tell. It was 30 something years ago. That guy Bruce was in the army. So, yeah. Let's do something patriotic. Let's open some Team USA cards. In his memory, now that I know he's passed on or not been with us for 15 years. Do we get a Jordan? No. That pack was Jordan free. Let's play a few of these. Just for Shits and Googles. Ooh, this one weighs light. Nope, it came back up. All right, I'm satisfied. Let's keep going. Let's go get those Jordans. These are worse than those fucking Fleer. You know, the two Fleer series, two packs. I don't have any plans tonight, so this will give me a stack of Jordans to put under the glass and take a look at it. Take a look at. And I don't remember this set from when I was a kid. At all. Seeing it on YouTube for the first time 30 years after the fact was interesting. I remember uh, watching these guys play. Kicking the shit out of fucking everybody. Ooh, poor Carl. Coach K. Yep. We got Coach Daly and Coach Shashevsky on this one. Coach Shashevsky was brought back after the Dream Team started losing. And that's when you get the Redeem Team, which is something worth watching, even though I'm not a LeBron fan. Actually, I'm not a sports fan. This just brings back good memories. So the era, I enjoy cards. I enjoy cards. Got a dicked up corner back there in the back. No, it's not Jordan. God, he's messed up bad. I wonder if I did that. Isaiah Thomas was not on the dream team, who probably deserved to be, but Jordan didn't like him. It's all covered in the. Um, Last Dance, if you haven't seen that. Anybody want to look at that again? Could at least I forgot about him. Jordan? Hi, Jordan. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder if we get any packs with two Jordans in them. That one looked like it had a bad edge. Ah, oh, did I just do that? I 
I saved it. No damage. Magic on Ewing. How come there's no magic on uh, Lenny Wilkins? I don't really have anything else to talk about. I did a little bit of shot. I guess I do have other stuff to talk about. Nothing cosmic or important. I didn't go anywhere yesterday. Not much for Black Friday anymore. I don't feel like having to shoot anybody, so I just stay home. There was a time where I used to go out and just watch the show, watch the chaos, stay off on the side. Star Jordan NBA rookie. Maybe a cool looking card in the slab. With a big old ten on top of it. Curiosity time. Ratio, but I don't remember. So the odds of two in a box is probably zero. That's what these two first. I'm curious. Carlissimo. So no, uh, no Black Friday for me. I went out today. It's Saturday. I didn't buy anything. I usually take a card into Lowe's and go load up on tools, stuff that I don't have, stuff I've broken through the year. But I didn't, I didn't need anything this year. All I bought was a female in for a garden hose. I've been in this house for a little over two years and my projects are done. I wonder if an autograph would stand out. Is it on a different card? Is it... How would you even know? Card. Some of these cards are so dark, I don't know. Maybe it's white ink? It's starting to hurt my thumb. That's a good looking card. Magic on Stockton. What does he have to say about these people? John's one of the best pure point point. Best pure point guards to play the game. He always looks for the pass first. It's never a debate in his mind. If there's no opportunity, he'll create one. It shows his amazing amount of confidence on the court. He's unselfish, and he won't put his players. All right, let's find the uh, magic on Jordan and read that one. We're going to take some time. Smoked a turkey breast on my gas grill. I do have a 10. It might be this card. 
I bought some packs of this. It's on one of my earlier videos. I might pull that one out to compare these two before I send them. Looking at centering since there's no borders. So I smoked the turkey breast. That came out of fucking shit. That hurts. I'm going to hyperextend my thumb. Turkey breast came out great. That's all the cooking I felt like doing. So today I had turkey breast and jelly cranberries. Magic on Jordan, let's read it. Michael's one of the best players of all time. His moves are incredible, among the most amazing I've ever seen. I think he wanted to win the 91 NBA championship more than anyone on the court, and he deserved it because he worked harder than anyone to get it. The best thing about Michael is that he's a team player. He's constantly trying to help out his teammates and make them better. Look at how much he's helped out Scottie Pippen. I really respect that. Why does he get to comment? Who cares about Magic's opinion? Barkley, Robinson, and Ewing. Let's put that in the background. Can we see it? Yeah. some shitty corners on that one probably for me opening the pack check them out so if you want to pull a stack of Jordans out of a product I highly recommend this one I think a fair price on this box is between forty and fifty-five dollars. Forty is a good one. Uh, fifty-five is still fair. I think I paid about fifty for this one, but for some reason they'll get up there in the hundred-dollar range. Uh, I don't get it. Did I miss anything? We'll see three or four of them sell in the hundred-dollar range, and then they come back down to fifty. People will list them over a hundred bucks, and you send them an offer, and they think you're fucking crazy. Well, be patient. Eventually, it'll it'll show up on uh, in my budget. What I think is fair. This will probably be the only box of this I do. I don't. I don't need to do two of these. There's a lot of boxes I've opened that I won't open again. I have been chasing down uh, pack lots though. There's still a couple of boxes that I need to add. I looked at a 89 Fleer today. That's going to happen. That'll probably be January. I'll buy a box of that. Because uh, next month I'm going to send out a big CSG order. Probably by the time I'm done with it, it might be 50 cards. Maybe more. I like those shoes. Uh, if you keep watching, you'll see some expensive boxes pop up. But my days of uh, having fucking 12 boxes stacked up on my table behind the camera, and I'm done with that. Scratch dead itch. Satisfied my curiosity.
Hmm. Those two are heavier. Maybe it's all the ink on the cards from the autographs. It's probably nothing. We're off by a gram. Mullen, Robinson, Pippen, Magic, Larry, Coach. After this, I'll uh, watch a movie, maybe. Sort this mess out tomorrow. None of this. These guys are all Hall of Famers, so none of this goes in the fire pit. This is all Keeper. Got a show coming up. Santa Rosa Auditorium, which is in Milton. That's on the 3rd of December. I need to double check on that, make sure it's still going. Where's the damn Jordans? What the fuck's going on here? Is that 15 packs in a row without a Jordan? Coach. Barkley Robinson, coach. Dun dun dun. look good. That whole stack might go out. The settings within a nine. These go for about like 45 bucks. Graded 10. And the Jordans. The Jordans go for 40 to 50 bucks each. Time. So if your centering's off a little bit and you think it's a nine, you're really not, it's not worth sending. You gotta be 90% sure it's a 10. Give yourself a good chance, don't waste money. Magic on Mullen. Damn, eight cards per pack are already at 29 minutes. What am I doing? Why is this taking so long? Jordan? No. 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 NBA all time records. Stunning. Now I can stop watching eBay for sets of this stuff. I'm done buying that shit. card.
One more Jordan for shits and giggles. Thank you. And the cool shoes. Uh, that might be, was that slammed up? No, I think he was, eh, who cares? Whatever I say is gonna be wrong. I don't remember that well anyway. All right, so we did get the team card. And it looks like it has a like a mar on the back. I'm gonna see if I can uh, microfiber that off. You put some water on it. It is plastic, so it should be all right. And we got a stack of Jordans. And a stack of Hall of Famers. So, I've scratched that itch. This box is history. I had fun. I'm glad I got it. I won't do it again. I've gotten four boxes on the shelf. I'm not sure what's next. Stay tuned. Thanks for teaching me everything, Bruce. Rest in peace, buddy. Everyone else, happy Thanksgiving. Oh, I'm about to fuck this all up. And I'll catch you later. Bye.